So I was going to wait and compile a big list of mistakes uh, for, to warn people, especially for when Global comes out. But this one is so big and so prevalent that I think I have to make a video right now. So on stream, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, how am I getting my characters to LR without pulling any dupes for them? And uh, this is a big mess up that I really wish they would explain better. I know it's in Korea slash Japanese, so a lot of people are missing out on the warnings to not do this, but I wish it had a proper tutorial and I hope the global version actually explains it better to the players that are going to be playing global and are not currently playing JP. But if you want to know, to get a character all the way to max level, you have to level up their friendship. Kind of makes sense because you no know, Black Clover is like big friendship anime, right? So you get these coins from leveling them up and these are technically dupes, right? And um, you get these unbranded coins as well. And the amount that you get is technically not enough to get a character to LR, but it is. So I leveled up friendship for um, lo a Lotus here. So if you get a character to level 60 for the first time here, when you go to awaken him, it will ask you to use coins. And what a lot of people are doing, they're using the unbranded coins that have the picture, the technical dupes, and you sh you're not supposed to do that. They even give you a warning, like this warning right here. Again, this is in Japanese, so a lot of people are missing out on this. But this warning is literally telling you, don't do this, okay? <laughs> don't, don't do this. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use these unbranded coins in the first awakening from 60. Boom. You're not supposed to use the coins with the picture. If you do this, you're going to completely mess up your character because... That's all you're getting, like, you get just enough. The coins they give you, the ones with the face, are just enough to get the character to LR, so you can get them to level 100. As you can see, if I level him up again, I got... It will ask me for two coins. And these are not unbranded, these are the real deal. These are the coins with the face. So a lot of people are messing up, they're using the coins with the face they get on that 60 to 80. Do not do this! Now, how do you get those unbranded coins? The unbranded coins, you will also get for friendship level, as you can see. You get one, you get two, you get two right here. But you saw you need four. You need four, so how, how do you get them? These are sort of like, if you play Grand Cross, SSR pendants. These are not a resource that's completely abundant in the game. This is a resource you're gonna have to make sure to manage and Especially for SSRs, because when it comes to like, so like SRs, right? I clicked the wrong thing. I, I meant to click on characters again. When it comes to like SRs, right? You use a different one. So let, let me go uh, like here. Not only you use like this, you use their, their coin as well, but you use a different unbranded SR coin as well. I, I, I didn't have one here to show. If I go in my inventory, I guess I can show. There's like a different coin for the rarity, for R and then for uh, for SR here. This is the unbranded S SR, this is the unbranded R. And again, I mean, for the Rs especially, you don't need to use the unbranded coin, but as you'll see, there's also this coin right here. This is technically a free dupe. For SSRs, we're gonna be getting... How do I get to the mission here? A free SSR dupe seemingly every month, and these you also do not want to use as a thingy, I mean, I guess you could, I guess you could, but ideally what you want to use this for <clears throat> is an actual dupe, so how you use dupes is here. Once you get a character to level, um, to LR, these are the little stars under him, you click here, and you can use the, the, the picture, the, the crystal of the picture as a dupe, or this item right here, which again, <clears throat> we'll seemingly be getting every month, there might be other ways we get it as well. But getting one of these every month sounds very good, and sounds uh, like, a, like a decent spread. Given that every character can use up to five dupes, and there's characters that are more exclusive than others, it's a great system, I wish Grand Cross had this. But yeah, as you can see, dupes give you, your character some minor stats. It's not anything crazy, but stats are stats, and if you're going for like the top of the top, they will make a difference. But if you're not completely uh, unnecessary, especially, if you compare game to game, like, you know, I play Grand Cross. My main game is Grand Cross, right? 
Dupes on Grand Cross are very relevant because it, it makes you go first on the turn. This game, unless the dupe actually gives you speed, which I haven't seen a dupe that does give speed, there might be one. Um, then, you know, that's not really the case. So make sure not to do that. Also, the coin shop, right? So the coin shop is very important. You do not want to use dupes of characters like this. So I, I got these three. These are not real dupes, right? These are um, these are uh, coins to awaken him. So I do not want to use them right here. If there's a character you do not want to use, like for example, I don't, I'm not going to use real, right? And he's like a regular character banner. So what you can do is you can get the character's friendship level. I'm going to show real, real quick how to farm friendship level. And then use the coins in the coin shop. But you can also use unbranded coins as well. So you can, you know, manage. Like this right here, SSR ticket uh, is, is probably worth buying for 8 coins. It depends on how many units are missing. Like if you already have William, you can't buy this if you don't have William. But if you have like William and then you have like real <laughs> and you don't want to use real at all, you can just like give real dupes and then buy a William dupe. Dupe for dupe might be worth it but one thing you want to make sure to buy every month is these you can buy four of those these unbranded ssr coins every month using sr coins so take some characters that aren't very good so like make sure not to use like um uh, like you know and uh fin i mean if they're already max duped then sure but the coin shop resets every few days for some items, but every month from for a few items. Like also the SR unbranded coins you can buy with R coins. So make sure you'll be on top of it and um, and buy these. These are very important. Like I said, these are sort of like SSR pendants. They they are not all that easy to acquire. On the limited stages, you can see from like this game mode right here, we can do three times a day. You can acquire some as well. Like so expect from like limited stages. Like the first time I clear this. The 185s, I've already cleared the 152, but I will get like a another SSR one. And then the next one, I assume so as well. So make sure you're on top of the uh, limited events as well, because those award, like here, another SSR, they are, you know, awarded not in abundance, but make sure that you always get those uh, limited ones so that you have enough to awaken the characters you want to do. Don't just go awakening every character, right? Make sure you're waking characters you know are good and you're gonna use like immediately. Now to farm friendship, you go here, here, here. These missions with the stars, it doesn't matter which world it is. I go on uh, world one because that I know that's where you farm the friendship food. These stages right here give you a lot of friendship. It gives you like 400 and something. It shows right here. I think I think this says that it's extra friendship. And they also drop, like if you specifically go for this one, Items to make friendship food in the uh, in the 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 boar hat, right? The, <laughs> in the the home the the home area, right? You can go to the home area and then talk and make some uh, friendship food. So make sure to bake friendship food once you're farming. It's this one right here, right here. So I can make 19 right now. And do runs on that stage for the characters you want a friendship level. And you'll be getting the max friendship in much, much quicker period of time than if not. So make sure you do those things to level up your characters. A lot of people, a lot of people are coming to my stream and saying they messed up. Do not mess up.